So recently I've been trying to figure out a way to make lighting look a bit better and a bit more vibrant in my Blender renders. So uh, this was a scene I mocked up to actually test tiles, which this is going to uh, be an upcoming tutorial as well on how to make some decent tiles just using the brick texture. And um, I just wasn't happy with how the lighting was coming in and looking in this scene. It just looked very flat and not very engaging. So uh, this is a few tricks I have kind of figured out to do or been taught and stitched together for myself on how to improve the lighting to make it look a bit more vibrant and a bit more uh, involved. So for starters, I am actually going to come to the world properties. I'm going to take the strength of my HDR and I'm actually going to change it to two. So it's a bit more intense because, let's be honest, sunlight really blows out. Like if you look at any bright colored objects in the sun, they usually will be very, very bright. And uh, with this, if necessary, you can always come in and go to the color management and turn down the exposure a little bit if you need to compensate. But it will just help make it look a bit more realistic. While I'm in the color management here, I'm going to change the look from none to high contrast. So now we have a bit more of the darks and a bit more of the brights. So this will already help it pop just a bit more. And um, I'm going to hit render on this. All right, and already you can see that it's just making a big difference. Uh, the light is popping. It's maybe a little too bright, but I kind of like it for this setting. Um, and it's making the colors a bit more extreme, the darks are a bit darker, the whites are a bit whiter. It looks pretty good. But um, I found the final icing on the cake is to go to the compositing tab here. And I have this queued up in the viewer so we can see what we're doing. And um, I'm going to do Shift A, add in glare, I'm going to plug this here. See, this is adding in streaks right now. I like to angle this a little bit so it's not perfectly up and down. And I like to take the color uh, the color mod here and put it up pretty high. I'm going to keep that here. I'm going to duplicate this, move it over, change this from streaks to fog glow, and keep it right here. You might need to turn the threshold. Let's see, if we turn it down then it's going to get brighter and more glowy. If we turn it up, it's going to get less so. So I might do... It's kind of fun to like put it all the way, just really go extreme, but I'm going to do maybe like a 0 0.8, 0 0.9, because I really want to capture that essence where the camera or your eyes can't quite focus on either the darks or the lights. So if it starts focusing more on the darks, the lights are going to be blown out. And if it starts focusing on the lights, the darks are going to basically be like taking exposure down like that. So that's how it would look. And I think that looks really cool. And it just adds a lot of warmth to the scene, which is going to make it look like this. So that's my been my pipeline recently for uh, lighting. And it's honestly made a big difference, I feel like. But um, I hope that's helpful. And obviously this won't work for every setup, but you can tweak it to work. And it just adds some of that nice warm glow to your light and makes the light a bit more intense. Anyways, thanks for watching.